So in this video, we're going to look at a USB flash drive and we're going to put some documents on this USB flash drive. And once the documents are on the USB flash drive, we'll look at deleting the documents and then we'll look into recovering them. So I just took a screenshot and I'll copy that onto the USB flash drive and I've made a very basic Word document with basically a one line of text. Okay, so they're on the USB flash drive and let's go ahead and right click them and select delete. So now they're no longer on the USB flash drive or are they? So let's go to downloads and we've already downloaded um, test disk and photo recovery. So what we just want to do is extract it. I know this is on C drive in downloads and it's a different drive to the USB flash drive. So just to clarify, when running any data recovery tools, you should run them on a different drive than the drive that you plan to recover data from. Okay, so let's select our two gigabyte USB from the list. Let's select no partitions and then we'll select the default option and begin the file recovery. We'll also select the default folder for the file recovery and we'll press C to begin. So it's a case of selecting your options, selecting enter, enter, enter and then selecting the folder you want and I recommend just using the default and then pressing C. So already we see that we've got a Word document and an image file. So the file names are not the same as what I gave them, but if we open up the image, we can see the image is the same. And if we open up the Word document, we can see that it is the same Word document I had on this USB flash drive. Okay, so I deleted the document, but this tool recovered it. So when you delete a document, you don't actually remove the document from the USB flash drive. You just assign the data the document was written to, to free space. And the document is only removed if this free space is overwritten. And in this case, it wasn't. So this tool could readily recover the document. So let's try a format instead, and then let's go through the same procedure for a data recovery. And no, this is selecting the quick format. And we've got new directory. It just adds a two to the end of it because we already had the one. And once again, we should see the Word document and image file. So they survive a format and in this case it was a quick format. Now what a quick format does is it essentially removes the partitions. So if you think of your data on your USB flash drive as a field and the partitions as a fence surrounding the field, if you knock down this fence then all the items in the field i.e. the crops or grass will still be in the field. They'll just have no fences around them. So in essence, what happens when you do a format is you knock down the fences and you just rebuild the fences. So let's do another format and let's just check that the files are still recoverable. And we'll see that they are. So in both the first and the second format, I used the quick format. So it basically removes the partitions and then just rebuilds the partitions. And all the data on the drive is just assigned to free space and it's not overwritten at all. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use use a, a longer format. So what we do is right click the USB flash drive, select format, and then just uncheck this quick format. So as the name suggests, this format will take a good while longer than the quick format. 
So reading online, the difference between a quick format and a format is that the format checks for any bad sectors on the drive. And this is the reason that it takes longer. So in theory, the data should still be on the drive and it should not be overridden. But when I went to go ahead and recover the data using the photo recovery tool, I found that it couldn't find any data. So at least where this tool is concerned, the format does a much better job than the quick format because this basic file recovery tool cannot recover files once a format is used opposed to a quick format. So as you see, we've not got anything here. Okay, so I'm going to look at one other thing now, and this is called Cypher. So Cypher is a command in Windows, and what it essentially does is it looks at any free space on a drive, and it goes ahead and writes zeros to the drive in all areas that are free. Once it's wrote zeros, it repeats the process, but this time it writes ones. And then once this is done, it writes random data to the free space of the drive. So this should, in theory, make the data irrecoverable, at least using basic file recovery tools. Now the cipher takes substantially longer than the quick format or the format. So I've sped up the recording of this video substantially. And you can see here it's went and written the zeros and now it's writing the ones. And now it's writing the random data. Okay, so that's it done. And once again, we can check to see if we can recover any files. And the tool couldn't recover any files when a format was used. So a fill format. So it shouldn't be able to recover any files after a fill format and a cipher is used on the USB flash drive. In any case, we'll run the photo recovery tool anyway, and we'll see if it can find any files. And as expected, we can see that it doesn't find any files. Okay, so one of the advantages about the cipher command in theory is that it doesn't require one to format the USB flash drive. So say you have five files on the USB flash drive and you delete three of them and you want these three files to be irrecoverable and you want the remaining two files to stay on the USB flash drive and not be securely wiped from it, you should be able to just delete these files and then use the cipher. So let's just modify the original files on the desktop slightly. Let's just turn the image upside down. And let's just append something we have on the line in the Word document. So these are two new files and let's just copy them across. Okay, so here we can see the new files. Okay, as expected. So let's go ahead and delete these files. And now let's go ahead and 
perform the cipher on this USB flash drive. So once again, it will take a while, it will go through the drive, it's free space and it will write zeros. And then it will start writing ones. And then after the ones, it will write the random data. Okay, that's the cipher done. So let's try the photo recovery tool once again. And let's see if it finds any files. So oddly enough, in my case, it does find the two files. It finds the document and it finds the image. Now this is quite worrying because it means that the cipher isn't perhaps working correctly. I'll need to investigate this. I've read online that it only works with files greater than 100 kilobytes. However, the image is greater than 100 kilobytes and still shows. So it might be a thing to do with file size or it might just be that the cipher is not working as well as expected. In any case, the photo recovery tool finds the files on the USB flash drive and it shouldn't after the cipher. So if you've done any testing with the cipher on a USB flash drive and then attempted um, data recovery using the photo recovery tool, please comment to let us know. Cheers.